an attitude, way of life, you know, um, do what you want to do, not what society tries to tell you what to do, you know, fuck the system, think for yourself. And, I oh, made punk's just fucking heaps of gigs and heaps of fucking piss and just having a good time and... Punk is an attitude and a way of life and not a fashion. Person <laughs> Personally, I think it's just doing what you believe in and living the way you want to live. Yeah, but believing yeah. all you want to believe in. Yeah. That's why well, that's what I think it is. It's not just necessarily the way you She's look. book is <laughs> philosophies of punk no that's all right. um i think punk is just well it's an attitude way of life you know um do what you want to do not what society tries to tell you what to do you know fuck the system think for yourself that sort of thing uh, how and why did you get into the punk I oh, made punks just fucking heaps of gigs and heaps of fucking piss and just having a good time and saying what you want to say, you know, feeling what you want to feel. If you want to feel drugged out, you feel drugged Being out. Being yourself, yeah. Being oh. Alright. People have said punk is dead. What do you have to say about that? As long as I'm alive, punk is not dead. Yeah, punk's still alive, yeah. Still gigs happening. And as long as you and fucking me are around, punk will never die. Doesn't matter. Just Fucking, if I ever have kids, they'll be fucking punks. Okay, what do you all think about safe sex? Uh, that, it's, it's not a fucking, what do you think about it's not a... Oh, I think it's a pretty good thing because, I mean, you don't want to run, uh, you don't want to run around with diseases, do you? It's fucking, well, it depends, eh? <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's good. Uh, have you got a job? Fucking hope I have. <laughs> I work too much. Punks like, you know, they fucking shouldn't have a job and they're on the doll and all that. But um, I like fucking, you know, I like having a job so I fucking don't get bored. And so I've got heaps of money to spend heaps of piss on and whatever I want. Whatever I want to spend it on, I spend it on. If I want to go overseas, I go overseas. I'm not saying I'm a fucking rich cunt. I'm just saying I like having money. <laughs> Do you have any concerns about the future, the future of the country, the world? The future must be ours. The future is ours, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we are the future. Because <laughs> the old cunts are going to die and we're going to fucking, we're going to be there when they die. I mean, who else is going to be there? I think politics sucks. And the future, at the moment, looks really... Fucked. <laughs> really dry. Yeah. All right, the future. I mean, fucking. If there was no government and there was just full on total anarchy, um, it'd be. It'd, it's always going to be fucked. Okay, if you've got a message you want to say to the world, just say it now. Anything you want to fucking say. People have said punk is dead. What do you have to say about that? Punk's not dead. I'll never fucking will be as long as we're alive. Punk's not just the way you look, the way you dress, it's the fucking what's inside. That's what punk is. I don't get paid for it, I'm doing community television. Oh, do you have a job? No. No, I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> no, all those bastards out there won't employ me because of my hair. The little cunts. What's Wait, the they get loud, those bastards won't employ me. No, those bastards won't employ me because of the way I look, the way I dress, it really sucks. So I'm not going to change my fucking image for those cunts. They ain't all getting fucked. Fuck them. I'm going to try and get people into speaking for themselves, thinking for themselves. It is really the apocalyptic age, isn't it? 
like we think about it. It is the apocalyptic age. It's going to end soon. All right, what do you think about Safe Six? Sucks. It's like wearing a fucking raincoat. What are you talking about, man? It's fucked. I'd never wear a fucking Safe Six shit condom. Fuck that. I believe if a um, if a prostitute wants to to wear a condom, well, get the client to wear a condom, it's okay. I reckon they should be allowed to have. Yeah, yeah, got a, um, I've got a full-time job. So ever since I left school, I've been working. Like, you know, I'd work for a couple of years, go on the dole for six months. Yeah, I'd work for another couple of years again, yeah, as over and over again, sort of thing. So I don't get too monotonous, you know. Don't wanna sort of stay in the one factory for ten years or whatever. But um, yeah, I got a full-time job at the moment. Yeah, it's. What do you think about safe sex? It's not really relevant to me, is it? <laughs> safe sex, yeah. Uh, um, don't really care about it. Uh -huh. Is um, death the only certainty? Um, well, I've always, like the threat of nuclear war, I've always been worried about, you know, like, um, sort of our bands, our form of protests, yeah, we sing about things that, that do affect us, you know, like that, you know, that can affect our future. And, um, don't really get into the, the ozone layer and shit like that, yeah, a bit too hip for me. Okay. Um, well, if you have any comment or message you'd like to pass on to the world, okay, shoot, give a go for anything you want to say, say to Um, well, it's all right to be free. <laughs> um, Cause as much chaos as you can and, and have a good time. Fight to win. That's it. I, okay, how old are you? Just thinking for yourself, basically. Just freedom to express yourself the way that you want to express yourself. Yes. How did you get into Prague? How old have you been in Prague? What do you think about that? Is punk dead? Oh, punk will never die. Punk will never die. Punk's from within, it won't die. Can you qualify that in any way? Well, so long as there are people thinking for themselves. But well, so long as there are people thinking for themselves, then yeah. punk will be alive. Punks are just people that just want to live life alternate to the way society wants you to lead a life. And there's so many people out there that don't want to live the way society wants you to be. No, I don't believe in safe sex. That's why I've been to the doctor a few times over the past year. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. Well, I guess the future for myself, I just want to be able to do something for myself which is more positive instead of just being mainstreaming within society. I'd like to be able to go out there and have a say and do something to get people to wake up to the way the system's so fucked, the way everything's fucked up. Whether it be doing the, um, street theatre groups, playing in a band, it's all positive stuff, trying to go out there and tell people, you know, fucking this is a bit fucked, let's stand back and fight. And, um, and just for myself, generally just try and, you know, look after myself and do something positive, you know be happy with what I'm doing instead of being stuck out there in some nine to five job and being fucked up for the rest of my life and working for three fifty a week, you know, I don't want to do that. I want to go out there and do something which has got a bit of risk to it, something I can go out and, you know, say, well at least I try whether I get it get there or not, you know. Well I wouldn't the money doesn't really worry me. As long as I've got enough to survive on, pay the bills and have a good time once a week, I don't care. Money doesn't mean much to me. Well Nuclear war, it doesn't really worry me. I reckon if it was going to be a nuclear war, it'd be more of an accident, more of an accident than anything. Um, the, I don't like the, there being nuclear bases in Australia because I believe that, you know, puts a bit of threat on the Australian people and um, and the government don't really care about it. To tell you the truth, I don't reckon they give a shit. They're scared of other countries. they just, you know, selling out this country to other countries for money. It's all yeah. money these days, you know. They just... Oh, basically, I just, I just like everybody to, to fight back. That's, that's, because I mean, like in society these days, it's, it's gone wrong because everybody's in the classification. I mean, like everybody has to be something. Like you've got to be a doctor or a lawyer or a dentist or 
that and that'd be good if that'd go. Just people would just be people. So it didn't have to worry well, everybody I'm like, it's fuck everybody it just has to be something in life, you know. You know, there's so much emphasis put on jobs and what are you and the whole social status spectrum is it's, it's crazy. Hey, Everybody I mean, has different fucking tastes of what they're into. Yeah, exactly. If you're into something, you know, you're there's thing. fucking That's like right. yeah, pe general. people who have a certain habit of fucking like people who are bloody paranoid walk down the street crouched. Yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah, no, like you that, are. Fuck, what everybody you are. fucking I mean, looks yeah, like how but they if fucking. If you see are. these fucking oh, yuppies fuck, in a stud belt and a pair of docs and they think, yeah, I'm a punk, it's yeah. more than that. It's you. Yet yeah. again, you get hippies that think exactly. But all you can do with that, they don't look the part. Yeah, that's right. It's looking the part. You know, but looking the part is dress, just, dressing how you want to dressing no, the body. That's just, that's just an advantage. Without of fear it. of being persecuted for doing what you want to do. It's like a lot of headbangers or punks that's or whatever. That's right, yeah. If they don't have if to wear studs, it doesn't matter what you, what you fucking look like or, you know, whatever. We're all the fucking same. I mean, you know, we're all. When I got into punk, fucking. Down deepest dark. Fucking every single cunt I knew was trying to impress every bastard. Everyone, the like that was Before fucking. Boots. <laughs> <laughs> whoever Who's had, the, whoever had the best man. this was fucking good. Whoever had the best that was fucking really whoever good. Had whoever had the most posters in his toilet. Yeah, <laughs> fucking was that fucking good, you know? And then bloody all, all of a sudden fucking punk came along and like it just didn't matter if you were fucking if you didn't fucking have a habit of bloody bathing or anything. Like if you stunk, okay, that was cool, you know? <laughs> if you fucking. If you that's fucking not, were just felt like ripping your hair out and fucking just walked around with your fucking hair just going yeah. and just fucking got soap on your head and just went <laughs> and just walked out of the road, everyone would just go and fucking everyone would just go, fuck, he's fucked. He's fucked. He's not happy about something. <laughs> I also think that in our deeper self conscious, there really is a part in everybody that is a punk. I Are mean, you a Hari? No, I'm no, serious. There is a rebel in everybody and they're not afraid to voice it. I mean, <laughs> no, some okay. people are. Alright guys, it's been said punk is dead. I'm talking dead. about what subconsciously. What do you say about that comment? Do you believe punk is dead? What is dying? Punk's never, no, was never not. born. I mean, punk was never born, it's never ended. Can never that's end. Right. Punk's the wrong word. Punk yeah. is, yeah. it's yeah. a totally wrong word you for it. You've simply taken that as a time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's history. It's carrying on with the same ideas as what punks yeah. have today or in the 82 from 77, 82. No, punk was and the name fucking put on people. Punk was the name put on by those, said by those fucking people that were bloody had heaps of money and anyone who was fucking a degenerate alcoholic fucking piece of shit walking down the street, that's what they called a punk. And these bands came out, these bands came out and they all started like dressing the same because they all knew each other. Like, you know, 100 clubs so fucking small, Roxy so small. Fucking just every, it's like the Duke of bloody Edinburgh. Everyone knew everyone there. And fucking, so they all fucking like him and they sort of like someone would walk in with a jumper and they go, fuck yeah, I like that. That's really good, you know. That's not fucking John Travolta top, you know, <laughs> fucking whatever. And they'd start wearing it and they all just fucking kept buying what each other fucking brought and they, because they thought, went, oh yeah, that looks fucking shit up. You know, I'll get that. Fucking, I wouldn't mind one of them. And they all just kept doing it like no, that. No, no, no. Look at it today. Most punks wear docks. The majority. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, here, here, here. Uh, here. No, that's it. one thing that is like a punk trademark. Yeah, but they're the fucking best fucking shoes. Yeah, in the world, exactly. Aren't they? But I mean, uh, you wouldn't uh, get your uh, average middle class fucking tourist bitch wearing a pair of dogs. Oh, fuck, you do. Yeah, now you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's what I'm saying. It's. No. Punks, what fucking. People have said that's just what they called them, and they didn't bloody like they could have just called them trash. If they had a called them trash, fucking would be called trash now. Yeah. Trash, rock trash rockers. <laughs> Hello, I'm a trash, trash rocker. Rock, yeah, <laughs>